Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot on this gorgeous, beautiful, God blessed day. I'm sending you so much love and so much hugs and kisses through the camera. So, yes, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the beautiful, kind comments. I appreciate it. And if you guys want any services, you can check out my website, cherishlovebear.com. I also have blogs on there. If you're a reader, I have a lot of stuff written on there. And the services that I provide, etc. Okay? So I love you so freaking much. And let's get into it. How is your person feeling about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a mother a walk in this planet, okay? So let's get right down into the nitty gritty. I'm going to give you the tea. I'm your plug. We're going to get into it and see what they're hiding from you, what their deep, deep secret when they lay their face down on their pillow, what they think, okay? So let's get into it. I actually have to change my hair up because like my hair is hella thick and sometimes it like pulls back my mother effing forehead like I got Botox, I got a tight ass $15,000 Botox on my face and then it hurts so I'm just putting my hair in a ponytail. Thanks for your patience. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So one, let's get into it. See how they feel about you. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm so excited. I don't know why. I'm so excited. I don't know if I will ever find another like you ever. Wow. You know, it's this is such give me the vibes of um never mind I'll find someone like you. I'll give nothing but the best for you. Don't forget me. <laughs> okay, so then we have when we first connected eyes, you had me. My heart skipped. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, okay, so I don't know what you did. I don't know if you were walking in a restaurant. I don't know if you were at a game. I don't know what you were doing at the club, but something you did. You just looked into this guy's eyes and his life stopped. And his life flashed before his eyes. <laughs> he was like a deer in the headlights and you were the semi, okay? <laughs> like that's what happened. Oh my gosh, it's kind of crazy too because some people say semi, I say semi. I'm in a toxic relationship I don't know how to get out of. Wow, okay, so this guy's like obviously, you know, obviously has somebody that is in your guys' um, connection way, okay? Let's get further into it, because I'm a nosy-ass Nora, and I have to know what's up. All right. We have uh, discontent and boredom. Thank you, creator God. Oh, my gosh, is this high or what? Okay, good. I was tripping. I was like, nah, no, 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 it can't be that crazy. Because we need a lot of... Um, camera space you guys because like we have a lot of cards here and i didn't plan on this much cards but yo when they come out they come out right you sometimes creator wants to tell you a lot of stuff okay so i don't hold back on that kind of stuff patience and planning patience and planning patience and planning then we have ooh sudden wealth okay <laughs> okay all right let me check your tarot slow real quick one two three four okay so we have this one of the lord i'm just gonna actually do this really quick 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 wow hey guys damn some powerful ass cards here and then for this one we have concern oh i'm sitting here i'm so concerned you know what i mean it's really cool also because we're having some powerful fixations here and definitely, definitely, definitely three is the most powerful number in the world. Call me biased, but it really is, you guys. Three, six, nine. Yes, it is. Three is the most powerful number in the world. The Trinity, three, six, nine, everything, chemistry, physics, calculus, everything. 
Three, three, you guys. Tesla, three. Just breathe. Okay, so some shit happened. Okay, reparenting yourself. Okay, so just getting into this, you guys. Obviously, there's been an abrupt disconnection within your guys' connection. Abrupt disconnection, probably because there was this cock block third party from the past. You know what I mean? So obviously, when you guys kicked it off, it just was like, right away, it was like, boom hitting the fence right away shit hit the fan because you guys couldn't pop off and start this really romantic beautiful romance of a lifetime right away because there was a lot of people and a lot of energies that were coming in from the background that were kind of getting into your foreground into your guys's presence so it was kind of like even though this man thinks to you like such a gorgeous like beautiful like holy shit she just walked into my life stomach on flat 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 Lebby's on at, 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 like, really, like, just hot. You were just on and popping, like, damn. Your smile, Hollywood smile, big booty, looks after yourself, goes to the gym, pays your bills. You're funny as fuck. You know what I mean? You had all the attributes of a true, beautiful woman that he's dreamt of since he was a kid. So that's why this card pops up, because it's like, damn. You know what I mean? She came out of nowhere, swept me off my feet. I was in a boring, like boring karmic relationship with a chick who just controls me is always checking my phone and you know he was in a relationship where it was more like jail you know what i mean where it was like prison where he's locked up they won't let me out Ooh, they won't let me out you know what i mean like he was just like in a locked up karmic relationship and then you came in and you were like Woo! like just the breath of fresh air to this mother effer and it was like damn because you found him in a place where he was like really um sad and just like f my life <laughs> you know what i mean like this guy was like on his last ropes with the whatever his life was going whatever um journey that he was on with his karmic you know what i mean she probably only did like one move which was just lay on her back you know what i mean like one cheap little move and it was just like kind of just if he needs his rocks off it was just like really boring that kind of you know karmic just to get it off and imagine somebody else <laughs> imagine you while he's he's with her oh my gosh that's a song actually you guys I'm, I'm imagining i'm imagining you when i'm with her oh yeah that's um it's by mario it's called in shallow drowning yeah so that's the song i'm picking up on you guys that's the song i want you to apple uh spotify apple music is called drowning by mario that is actually how this guy is feeling really bar none is that's the huge energy and especially that adele song never mind i'll find someone like you he feels like you know he kind of fucked up maybe when you guys first met he was kind of like trying to play it off like he didn't have this um chick in the you know in the background at home whatever and he was just trying to lie you know or else not lie but not to be honest when you were like oh you ain't married you don't have no kids and he's not married he doesn't have no kids but you know he does f with someone you know that's a girlfriend but she doesn't have the wife status so maybe he kind of like didn't wasn't completely like transparent with you which you know it's on the fence of it's not a lie because you didn't ask specifics but he didn't also disclose it to you meanwhile he carried on flirting kikiing ha ha with you whatever but so whatever so in the background you gave him this gust of like a whole new life like a whole new path like just this whole new uh, urgency of wow I can live again I can dance again I can actually have a life again I can actually be JLo in the rain again I can actually go and have R&B videos in the middle of the fucking road you know what I mean Ray J Ray J one wish old ass out on the highway you know what I mean you gave him a gust of like just the gust of life where he knows he can just dance and love anywhere so that's really beautiful you guys and he sees you like i said you just came in like a hurricane and you just came in like woke him up from this like this uh oh, this really like shitty karmic cycle that he was in with this lady or this person that he was with and it was just like he hit the jackpot when you walked in it was like damn he was like oh my god you walked in made it spin you look so good neon that drank you in with thirsty eyes when we first connected eyes you had me my heart skipped oh my gosh you guys this is so beautiful also another song i'm getting is gord bamford when your lips are so close it's just exactly how it was like when you walked in you made head spin 
everybody was looking at you everyone was like who's that chick in the whole entire like hall whatever ever you guys were at like bar facilitation whatever training everyone just all eyes on you like it was just immediate every single person oh my gosh you guys but now yeah so he sits there and he's like i she found out you found out my watcher my baby about this whole third party uh, situation that he was on the coattails of a breakup or coattails of like f my life i don't want to be here anymore kind of thing you know the phase right before the official breakup kind of thing that phase so yeah so you but you busted him not being completely honest with like the whole third party thing and so like yeah so then you probably put your foot down set your healthy boundaries and said oh hell no hell to the nah you ain't gonna play me like that you don't play a 10 like that you don't treat a 10 like that maybe your little fives your little heathers and bernices and shit ashantes you can mess with that shit but uh-uh that doesn't fly here so you definitely put a halt to that fuckery and you said no i i ain't like, like i'm a 10 plus I'm one in eight billion. You don't, you don't do me like that. So you really uh, put your healthy boundaries down. You said, no, you're not treating me like that. And you said, no. And you know, rightfully so you need those healthy boundaries, baby. If you don't baby yourself and got your back, no one's going to not have your back. So he's sitting there and he's thinking, damn, how do I come back to her? How do I make this work? I really want to be with her. She's the one I want to be with. So now he's in this contemplation time where he's like, I really want to be with her. She's the one that I want and nobody else is, compares to her. Like, I really want to work together with her. I'm getting, you know, when I was doing this, it was a lot of work together, working together, like working together, you know, like a team, like a partnership, which is like what relationships are all about. So your person really is like contemplating how the heck am I going to get out of this toxic relationship with this chick that only does one move, which is lay on her back and starfish? Real basic in bed, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, how do I get out of this toxic relationship? Because it's boring. I might as well just come up to a, come home to a blow up doll. <laughs> but she keeps, you know, some people are in such toxic relationships where their person will be like, I'm going to commit suicide. Or I'm going to tell the cops what you did in 1999. You know what I mean? Like really toxic, like that keep you bound, you guys. There's a lot of toxic people who always use the suicide card. So I kind of feel this person is kind of like in a really rough tumble kind of toxic relationship like that with his ex where it's really hella crazy. And so he's like, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this relationship, first of all? Because you gave him another hope that there's another chance in this life. You know what I mean? And he sees you as definitely the world. He sees you as definitely that trophy wife. And just, he's really trying to have patience because he wants this cycle, you guys. He wants the cycle to end. He wants this relationship of his past to end. Carp diem. And he wants to... F the past, like, fuck it. I took the lessons from this karmic relationship. This is absolutely not what I wanted. Like, Practice by Drake. I don't know if you guys ever listened to that song, Practice by Drake, but it's all about, like, you know, first ones are practice, second ones, sometimes third. But, like, eventually you gain enough lessons of what you want and what you don't want that and wisdom and knowledge from all these um practices that you find your soulmate you know what i mean and that's really how it is you guys so he wants to cut out all these karmic cycles with his ex and he wants to move into beautiful a new life a beautiful new relationship with you as hurting as you might be might be in this moment just know that he's also hurting because this ten of swords is one of the most it like this is one of like bar none man I, i'd say the ten of swords is worse than the death card I'd say the Ten of Swords is almost like the tower is the initial shock, like of the day of, like the day of, and the Ten of Swords is a couple hours, like Ten and Tower, you guys are the worst fucking cards to see in a love reading because they hurt. I'd say, yeah, man, this is like the worst card because this is like painful, emotional pain, like suicide thoughts, real dark. Anyways, so yeah, you really like put your put your dude straight. You really said, F no, you're not treating me like that. So now he's in this contemplation time where he's like, hey, I'm ready to get rid of the past and move forward with you. I want to start this new life with you and I want you to forgive me. And I really want to start this new life with you because you're his trophy wife. Like you're just this beautiful gust of wind in his life that gave him faith to live again. Dance again by JLo, you guys. Keeps ringing in my head. That song again, I want to dance I want to love, I want to feel again. You know the remix, I want to dance again, I think it's called by Jennifer Lopez. 
Yo, that bitch danced like six times in the last 10 years with like four different men, five different men. Not judging. Her, she even admits in her book, um, J-Lo Love, that she's addicted to the D. You know what I mean? She says in her book, Jennifer Lopez, that she can't go to bed one night without being held from a man. She admits it. She's like, I don't have no addictions to, to alcohol, to shopping, to drugs. I'm addicted to men. And she admits it. So good for you. So anyways, this guy wants to come towards you eventually. He wants to start this new life with you. He's hoping that you're going to be there at the end of the yellow brick road, just waiting for him and just forgive him. And he's always just trying to G himself up and talk himself up and say, okay, just breathe. It's going to be okay. She's going to be there when I'm ready and I'm ready to come forward and everything's going to be okay. So I really pray to God that she's still there. So he's really trying to G himself up to be like, baby, she's going to be there. It's going to be okay. Just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. We're going to heal this heartbreak that I caused her. So as much as he busted your heart, he is really hoping that you're healed and that he can come forward and you guys can start this new cycle together in this new world together, okay? So he's really hoping that you're like healed, he's healed, and you guys can like be together. I'ma be the one to I'm actually gonna move this little thing a bit. Can I move you, Ho? Uh, no, I can't. Man, that sucks. Okay, so he's really gonna offer you this beautiful this beautiful new like let's go to these dates let's go to six flags let's go to disneyland like he's going to offer you and kiss your butt he's gonna send you 12 dozen roses he's going to try make you laugh even when you have a real mad face and you're like crossed arms he's gonna do anything to try make you laugh and then you know you know when guys do that when they try make you laugh and then they're like hey, hey, I'm, I'm out of the red zone and then they like act like it's all good in the hood like he's gonna try be friends with you and try make you laugh real lots and you're gonna be like get out of here ugly quit trying to be friends with me fuck off but meanwhile low-key you like it you know what I mean? So that's how he's going to feel with you. So he's going to come at you, going to offer you some kind of beautiful ring or something that he knows you like, you know, probably be sneaky about it, take you to the mall, shop around, whatever. He already knows that you got you. He already knows that you have your own bag. You don't need this. No one to take you for trips. You can take yourself for trips, but he's going to offer you something very unique to kiss your butt and eat your butt. <laughs> he's probably going to eat your butt. Okay. So He's, a, he's planning. He's like pinky in the ba brain right now to it. He's really trying to plan how to get out of the toxic relationship with his, with this chick from the past. And while he's doing it, he's really looking at the lessons that he took from this relationship, which is, which is like, why would, why did I even attract her in the first place? Oh yeah. Cause she had a nice body and she like, you know, she did like, she was always like willing, you know, when karmics are just over willing are super no goals they're just like really wimpy i notice karmics are always like so wimpy and like they're easy pretty much so i feel like that's the case i feel like your person like chose this ch person because it's a karmic obviously super wimpy um wimpy weak person and just like no goals really like lays on their back and does anything probably no personality probably not even funny so he's wondering why did i why was i attracted to her in the first place oh yeah because she put out right away and she put out again and again and again and again uh, you know what i mean so eventually I, he caught feelings because she was always there showing up to his house that kind of stuff and then he had to look after her because you know that masculine kind of that masculine role where they're just like she's so she's so overly feminine you know there's such thing where i feel like i have to like really um i really have to and you guys know what i mean when i say overly feminine i get it i get it you're gonna say oh well there's all polarity okay yeah i get it bitch but just understand i'm coming from a different concept so yeah so with the overly feminine kind of thing you know your masculines will sometimes like feel bad for them and they'll they step into their role of masculine of saving a hoe so that's where i feel like this guy's coming from so he's asking why am i doing this like why why am i saving hoes you know what i mean like what's up so your person's really trying to look at my childhood oh you know what i mean my mom was always on pills in the bedroom she was always asleep and I was always having to bring her food and make her feel happy and better oh that's what's going on you know what I mean he's really taking why am I intimidated from this person that came out of nowhere and swept me off my feet why am I intimidated from her because mm, I wasn't validated enough as a kid and told that I was like amazing just as I am you know even though I don't come from the richest neighborhood I'm still, my self-worth is not based on external validation. So he's really taking a step back and looking at his whole life and his whole concepts and wondering why, you know, like, why am I like this? So he's really looking, taking a look back at his childhood. So I love that. I love that. I really love your person. 
for doing that because I'm just like, wow, good for you. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people don't re sit back and reevaluate why they hurt you, why they pushed you away, why they, you know, white lied to you. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's see how this relationship's going to go with the current energies. I want you to, I want when he comes back, this is, okay, creator, this is when he comes back, how the energies are going to go when he reaches out. When he reaches out. How is it going to go when he reaches out? Oh, geez, too much, creator. Okay, how is it going to go when this person reaches out? How is the relationship going to go? When the relation, how's the relationship going to go when this person reaches out, creator? How is this relationship going to go if this, when they reach out? So actually, I'm getting that they, you know, I asked initially if they're going to reach out, but I keep hearing, no, they are not going to reach out. So I, that's what I'm hearing. They're not going to reach out. So ooh, if you were like to make contact or throw them a bone, which is I'm getting what you have been doing. Yes. Yeah, see, wow. I'm, fuck. I love this. I love this. Okay. So this, did you, I don't know if you guys seen this before, but stop reaching out because they're not going to reach out. They haven't been reaching out as much as you've been putting into it. So baby stop and take your power elsewhere take that beautiful magical sparkly magical happy essence of your soul elsewhere because you have the million dollar cootie cat you have that magical divine cootie cat any man would be blessed to dive in that wap box you hold and stop reaching out because this guy what i've got right away was he's not going to be reaching out i have a feeling that you've been the one that have been putting in more effort you know these cards actually just clarify so what i'm seeing is as you go on with your beautiful luscious gorgeous life and you think about him in times of silence or you think about him before bed just send love and grace to him and just say i send you away with unconditional love and i forgive you for everything you know what i mean i feel like this really reading is just a chance for you to definitely Take what you learned, which is so cliche, right? But just love him for who he is, which is this person that's going through this really hardcore... Uh, your person's going through such a life-changing experience right now, like with this whole karmic relationship that he's in and taking a look at his life and why he makes the choices that he's making, that he doesn't really have time for a union right now. And if he did have a time for a union, de definitely bar none, it would be you. Hands down, it would be you. He sees you grinding, he sees you hardworking, he sees you owning your own business, he sees you just a very dedicated, beautiful, hardworking woman. So what's gonna happen is just do you, baby. Send him with love, balance, work on your career. All your ideas, all your implementations, all your self-love ideas, everything that's intertwined and put into your mind when upon meditation, etc., when you play sports, when you're on the lake, whatever you do, know that those are very divinely orchestrated and sent to you, those beautiful ideas for a reason. Utilize them. If you want to go back to school, go back to school. If you want to pick up a trade like gel nails, do it. Just you, you can't wait around for him because if you keep waiting for around around for this guy it's going to lead just to you breaking your heart over and over again you're breaking your own heart waiting for him and that's kind of what i feel like you've started doing for quite a while now is breaking your heart waiting for him to be out of this relationship it's going to be like this for a long time like don't wait around for him like you're just going to be breaking your heart and it's not going to work so i feel like you already know this i feel like you already know this you just needed a clarification to like really put the nail on the coffin when it comes to this i need you to step back into your power take back all your energy make those affirmations morning every single morning i call back all my energy to myself i call back all my power to myself i upgrade from this life and all parallel lives that are happening coexisting at this exact same moment and i upgrade my vessel to the powerful oneness that i am in this moment so that's when you call back all your parallel lives that are happening at this exact same moment from different galactic timelines. And that's a prayer that I want you to start using is I call back all of the parallel 
my parallel energy from parallel lives that are coexisting right now in this exact moment and I upgrade my one vessel right now in this very moment that's happening right now in this earth plane and you actually feel your like body just upgrade and you have this burst of energy so i want you to start doing that and focusing on um your energy and your power and putting it into your business putting it into your career putting it into your passions putting it into your education putting it into your passion projects because this is what's going to bring you more div more happiness this is going to bring you way more happiness than waiting for this person who does it like i said if you were to choose somebody it would be you he does want a partnership he does see you as just this beautiful royal gorgeous magical golden loving woman but he has so much ruckus going on right now in the current energy he can't even give anything like he's busy trying to figure out how to leave you know he's locked up in jail with this relationship it's gonna take a while so i don't want you to wait around for him by the time he does come around, I feel like you wouldn't even be interested, honestly. So just more happiness would come if you just focus on your career, focus on your goals, okay? That's going to bring you the greatest happiness right now in this moment because waiting on him, you guys, I feel like by the time he gets ready to actually come forward, it's going to be all done. It's You won't even be interested in his ass anymore, okay? So I'm not going to just leave you at that. I just want one more card of advice for you. Creator God, one more card of advice because that was pretty sad. Ooh wee, yeah. Ooh wee. So this is a this is a powerful card, you guys. I love this card. This is one of my most favorite cards, you guys, in the in this yoga deck, honestly, because it's like a Chinamasta, goddess of radical tra self transcendence. You are waking up and experiencing the radical pleasures of letting go letting go so this is like the death card and if you can see you see the death all the death on this card this is like the death card which is transformation in a beautiful new life um as you turn passion into spiritual energy kundalini primal energy is rising and you have given up a role you once carried to step up more fully into your power don't feel fear in the state of transition chinamasta's gift is to transmute the darkest of times into the most powerful of energies Carry her fierceness as you tear off a former head you once had to experience the inner peace that comes with being divinely yourself. Radical acceptance and radical self-transcendence. So you are going through this massive heartbreak. As well as, you know, he is going through this massive heartbreak. You're going through this massive heartbreak. So just know, baby, that this is definitely as painful and crazy and painful and dark as you are. It feels like a death know that there's going to be some radical transcendence and this is for your greatest good and i i know it sounds really rank you know because i feel like you have a bunch of stabs in your heart but just know that there's going to be such of an alchemy that's happening right now that your passions and everything else is going to s elevate and be more beautiful than ever before so take the time it takes to heal and feel and make sure cry as much as you can okay this is such a beautiful card, you guys. This is such, you're going through this gorgeous transformation of letting go, but it's for your self-transcendence, okay? So I love you so much, my beautiful baby, and all these changes are happening to benefit you. You're going through great change. Change is always for the better, and of course, change. The sun is always shining after it rains, and this too shall pass. So I love you so much, and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. So, thanks for all the new subscribers, all the kind, beautiful, gorgeous comments. I love you guys so much. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. And I appreciate all the beautiful honesty and just the outcry of, like, honesty. Like, I love truth juice, you guys. I love it. Um, so, yeah. So, if you guys are interested in any services, go on cherishlovebear.com. All my services are listed, what I'm all about, what kind of reader I am and holla at me my email everything's linked down below cherishlovebear.com also um if you guys need any um i forgot what the fuck i was gonna say but yeah so i have blogs on there and everything written blogs that i have wrote so if you guys also are like a written word you like to read stuff you can go on to cherishlovebear.com okay without further ado my beautiful barbie doll let's get into it pile number two what your person's feeling about deep down in their heart space that they don't tell a mother effa walk in this planet earth you know what i mean they don't tell their priest they don't tell their grandma and we all know 
we all know our mom is our mama we, our cook them our grandmother is our main so if the, he doesn't tell his grandma then I don't know who he tells so this is like you know what as a matter of fact this is his higher self giving you the tea of how he feels about you okay so let's get into it how is he feeling about you baby my baby my baby baby okay i want to experience your energy with mine wow that's beautiful that's such a beautiful card you guys i want to experience your energy with mine wow that's like the ultimate alchemy magic sexual magic i'm not rich enough for you you deserve better i'm not rich enough for you you deserve better wow that's wild you yeah i did try to make you jealous yeah i did try to make you jealous oh man i can't stand that when guys do games like that like what are we 12 are we really we 12 i don't like that i don't like when people do that all right let's get further into it my baby 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 I think that's Biggie, eh? <clears throat> and then we have Heartache and Loss. It's a heartache. Nothing but a mistake. All right, what do we have here? And then we have Suffering in Silence. Holy man, this guy. Talk about... <laughs> Holy man, this is the worst cards you can ever get. Okay, I'll shut up and I'll just lay out your cards, okay? It's a honey, nothing but a mistake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh -wee. We got some beautiful energies here, you guys. Okay, number two, let's get the heck out of here real quick. <clears throat> then we have gift. Gift, gift of a... Gift of a rose. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Oh, it's so it, it, cute. It's so cute. Rebuilds. Yes, 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 yes. Always, always. Clarity of belief. Clarity of belief. Inner peace. Inner peace. Don't we all love that card? Yeah. So, my beautiful baby. I'm gonna keep it real with you. He bo he busted your heart. He broke your heart. He broke your heart. He broke your heart. And in bro breaking um, your heart, in breaking your heart, he just left you feeling like an abandoned, beautiful orphan, just all gorgeous and stuff. And you were like, who am I gonna make love to? Who am I gonna share this billion dollar WAP box with? You know what I mean? You're just sitting there like, I was ready to sit on your face every day for the rest of my life and you effed up. Homie messed up and he knows it because look at he's in the background just like creeping, creeping like, oh man, I want that cootie cat. You know what I mean? He broke your heart. Straight up. He did. And you just gave him everything. Ugh. So he, you know, he broke your heart. He suffered. He suffered. He hurt. And... I don't know why he did that, to be honest. Why did he hurt you? Let's get why he hurt you. Why are you guys, why did you guys pop off with such, like, heartbreak is what I want to know. Why is there heartbreak in the beginning, Crater? Thank you, Crater, for all of the messages you come through with unconditional love. Why was there heartbreak in the beginning? Why was there heartbreak in the beginning? Oh, okay, I get it. Because this one just popped right into my lap here. Okay. Wow, okay, so obviously a lot of like, he took a step back from this relationship because he thought he was too poor. So obviously his ego fear, ego fear was being, you know, it trumped the love for you. The love of the, the love of this relationship for him was trumped from his ego, his fear. So he was letting his ego and his fear lead this relationship and he broke your heart probably subconsciously did some things to self-sabotage this relationship in the beginning because his soul was like you're not rich enough she makes too much money you've never dated somebody like her you've never dated a successful rich bitch like this this broad you know that's what his ego was telling him so you might as well self-sabotage it 
so you don't have to get your heart broken in the long run. So what he did was he self-sabotaged it because he felt too poor for you. And in doing that, he self-sabotaged himself. Your person self-sabotaged himself and self-sabotaging this relationship and broke his own heart. He busted his own heart. In breaking your heart, he broke his own heart, okay? Because his stupid ego and his stupid fear. You know, it sounds like a really fuckboy thing to do to me. And I know he's not that, though. I know he's more mature than an F-boy. I'm getting a more of, like, a older 20s. But, like, he messed up this beautiful, like, you guys could have had this all. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. You know what I mean? Could have had it, but he went pissed it away by being a dummy, pretty much. And now he's just in breaking your heart because his, like I said, self-sabotage. He self-sabotaged his relationship. In that, he, like, broke his own heart, and now he's just suffering in silence kind of person. You know what I mean? What guys usually do, guys usually suffer in silence. That's just what they do. So, yeah, so he messed up this beautiful new beginning with a beautiful family with you. And in breaking your heart and self-sabotaging this relationship, he broke his own heart. Because all he does is think about you and obsess over you. And, yeah, he obsesses over you. But he sees you as just this billion-dollar prize, this beautiful, like, this beautiful little Christmas gift under the tree, this little poor... Oh, I mean, did you remember that Scrooge movie? You guys can actually just watch it on YouTube. It's free. It's called, um, it's with DuckTales. It's with Scrooge, and it's the Disney version. It's only an hour and ten minutes long. You guys should watch it. You know that little baby who can't walk? I don't know what his name is, but you know when finally Scrooge at the end gives him the gift of, I'm gonna pay for all your medical bills. That's how I feel the joy it was when meeting you was, like, when Scrooge was paying all that little baby's medical bills at the end of, like, uh, Christmas tale, whatever the hell it's called. And that's how we felt about you. Like you were just this beautiful gift, uh, savior on earth. You know what I mean? But like I said, he was so intimidated by your glory. He's so intimidated that you can pay for him to go to, you know, New York Knicks games and Toronto Blue Jays games. You can pay for all that. You can pay for the Sky Train to go there. You can pay for your guys' meals. You can, you can pay to go to New York City. Just everything. You can pay to go on trips around the world. And he was really scared in that. So he broke your heart because his fear, his fear, this stupid, ugly fear, attachment really messed that up. You see what I mean? I'm not rich enough for you. You deserve better. So he's really feeling emasculated because, like, he bases a lot of his self-worth on his bag. So he's like, I'm too poor. Even this card popped out on right on my lap, you guys. Financial constraints. He feels like he's way too poor for you. He feels like he's just, like, a bum compared to you because you make so much money. So he self-sabotaged the relationship. And I can't make this up. He's really trying to... He didn't know that if he just was patient that it would all be all good in the hood. But no, he was just really, um, his fear really got the best of him. He does want to have babies with you though. He does see you as his, his baby mama. He does see you as, he imagines you all the time as bearing his child. Because he knows that your guys' child would have the best of the best. And your guys' kid would be like that fucking kid off Princess and the Frog. Uh, you know that, that, um, white girl off Princess and the Frog, you know, with the daddy who always buys her everything, and she's like, I want this dress, you know what I mean, remember that, Princess and the Frog, that's a good movie, that girl and her dad had a really great relationship, and I don't know, I think she was the only child, and that only, the, only her only parent was her dad, but he gave her everything, and they had a really healthy, good relationship, she was kind of like, uh, that, you know, blonde ditzy girl, like, off Clueless, like that, he sees you guys as having a blonde Clueless girl, like, like a really ditzy, beautiful, like, princess. He wants you to, he wants to have a baby with you because he knows that your guys' baby would have the best of the best of the best because he sees you as looking after yourself. You take yourself on trips. You make your own money. You have your own education. You're a self-built built millionaire. That's just who you are. You're super bougie. You get your fillers. You, get, you go to the gym. You know what I mean? Like, you look after yourself, and you're super beautiful doing it. So, like, he sees this, and he knows if he ever, like, had a baby with you, it'd be a damn win, because your guys' baby would be, like, the best baby in the whole entire world. I want my baby to have your eyes. But he feels, like, really not rich for you. But he ha he's at this very, in the present energy, he's at this very, um, contemplation where he knows he has to make this life choice 
because he's so in love with you, he's so obsessed with you that he's sitting there right now in this very moment, wherever the F he is at work, in his office, at his brother's house, but he's sitting there and when he thinks of you, he's like, I gotta make a choice ASAP. Like I gotta tell her I'm in love with her and I gotta make this choice because I'm in love with her. But I feel like a broke bitch. But so regardless of him really overdoing it with the financial stuff and like that, he's in love with you. He's in love with you. He's in love with you. And he's planning. I, I like this because we come from just self-sabotaging his ass and all the energy of him breaking your heart and him breaking his own heart. Because now he's like, in the future, what he's planning to do is he's planning to come towards you and tell, tell you that he's in love with you. He's always been in love with you. You've always been the one. He wants to take you on candlelight dinners and he wants to hold your hand and he wants to tip glasses to wine to your guys' love underneath the stars. And he wants to dance with you in a random street, almost get murdered and stabbed up with you. He wants to experience all these beautiful new memories with you. Just unique to you two, so romantic. And he wants to tell you, I want to marry you. I want you to have my babies. Like, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. And we all know when you're in a relationship and it brings you inner peace and such a home security, that's the love of your life. Because inner peace, you guys, is the real big. At the end of the day, we all just want to be happy and inner peace. Happy magic, inner peace. That's exactly what we want in those four words. Every single human walking this planet wants happiness and inner peace happy magic inner peace so he's gonna come towards you guns a blazing to your fine ass and he's gonna tell you i want to be with you it's always been you i'm so in love with you i'm so into you by tamia <laughs> okay so that's the song you guys really have to check out is the song that i'm really getting for this um reading is so into you by tamia featuring featuring fabulous okay so that's the song I want you guys to check out is Tamiya is So Into You featuring Fabulous. Apple, Spotify, that shit. As soon as you're done this reading, So Into You by Tamiya and Fabulous because this guy's absolutely in love with you. He knows he messed up and he knows he effed up, built his own grave in the back. And he, yeah, he, he did try to do some things to try make you jealous because he's so in love with you. So in love with you. <clears throat> And he wants, to, after you guys go through like that huge breakup and that huge heartbreak that you guys went through, he wants to rebuild and start this new life even stronger than ever before. The past had to get ruffled up. Usually when we start new relationships, um, soulmate relationships, you do go through some hard times where it is super make or break it kind of thing. And if you can make it through that, baby, you can make it through anything. So he wants this new, look at the sunlight's coming up. The sun's coming up through the dark clouds and he wants you guys to build a stronger foundation, even stronger than ever before. Ah, this is such a beautiful reading. Wow. I just didn't even pay attention to these cards, seriously. So yeah, he wants to really start this new start this new life with you rebuild this new house he's going to come towards you and tell you he wants this new beginning with you and through all the heartache and loss he wants you just to forgive him so what i want you to do my baby is just forgive him as much as possible forgive the situation and just like when he does come back don't you know kind of take don't rip his head off don't bite his head off okay don't rip his d off i just he wants this new beginning with you this and he's apologetically sorry i'm getting your person's really dope you know what i mean Really, really amazing guy. But he just, yeah, he's gonna come towards you and tell you, I'm intimidated because I feel like a bum compared to you because you're just this rich, beautiful, bougie ass bitch. Buys her own Louboutins, Gucci, Prada, everything. Has a Maybach. Okay, so let's see, my beautiful baby, what creates her, what creator and the beautiful creator and your ancestors have to say about this relationship. How's this relationship gonna go? How's this relationship? Oh! you guys oh, see that pop right out creator thank you with your beautiful love with your beautiful love with your beautiful love oh body language says so much okay let's get this one i feel it in the way we touch and they tell me so, so much. Oh my god, it's so annoying when I want to grab stuff and I can't even can find it. Okay, I think these are the ones. Okay, so all the codependency, you know when people try to stay busy because they're like super crazy? 
they're trying to heal from you and stuff like that and like you're a heartbreaker so of course he's gonna try heal from you so your person's really trying to heal from you and the way he's trying to like make it through the day remember i said when he sits at work wherever he is he tries to like work really super lots to make keep you off his mind just so you know i just felt like i wanted to pull one of those cards because i feel like it's important because whenever codependency pops up there's definitely a codependency on something to try make it through the heartbreak and he's obviously fucked up in the past with the self-sabotage so what he tries to do it to get you off his mind is to try stay working all the time okay but that's going to come to an end because this one popped up upside down so he is going to come out of it he's going to grow the balls to come towards you and creator god is saying you guys do have this beautiful reconciliation because you guys seen this card just pop right out like crazy and like i love that so thank you creator for kicking in i love that i love you thank you creator so beautiful so yes yeah, like he's gonna come in with this beautiful reconciliation you guys there is gonna be a reconciliation you guys will talk it through the reason why he's working so hard look at this bitch just royal energy just the queen of queens that's you you're just this boss ass b with this queen empress energy you know what i mean if you were a man you'd have a big dick you know what i mean so like yeah you're just super gorgeous and beautiful so he's gonna come towards you is what they're saying and this he's gonna tell you that i'm working a lot so i can make lots of money to even equal half of your bag because i feel you know he feels totally masculated compared to you and you know ma men masculine men they feel like they need to have a bigger wallet than their chick it's just a traditional dna thing so He's going to come towards you and he's going to express his love and you are going to express your love and it's going to be healthy and you guys will have this new beautiful beginning and forgive each other. Forgive, forgive, forgive and make up and love each other and rebuild on a stronger foundation than ever before. Blessed from the God and the angels up above, okay? Aww, and it's so powerful because this ain't your guys' first rodeo. You guys bumped uglies in a past life before or else he was like your daughter or something like that. Depends, you got to do a past life regression, okay? So, I just want more tea on how he's feeling about you. I love this reading, you guys. This one from very savage heartbreak to just this beautiful maturing and growing. Like, I love that. I love when I see that, you guys. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, let's get some clarity on how else he's feeling about you. He's like, duh, 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 duh. I'm trapped. Remember that song um, by St. John? Oh, St. John is so fine. I would take that guy. I'd climb him like a tree. Oh, I'd have him speaking tongues. Okay, where are we at here? I have no shame. I will come bring this guitar outside your window. Wow. <laughs> okay. He's like back and forth when it comes to you. I believe God. I believe God made you my equal. Oh, did you hear me? I was like saying, I believe. It sounded like I was saying, I believe. Call it I believe. I believe God made you my equal. Oh, you guys. Oh, he's so in love with you. Wow. Holy shit. So I said soulmate relationship, right? Soulmate relationship. Twin flame relationship. Okay? Because I knew this was soulmate relationship, but for a lot of y'all, this is a twin flame. Damn. No wonder why it's so hardcore. But when you have past life relationships with someone, if that's what's up. That's what always happens. I promise I will put out every day if you take me back. I effing love you. Wow. So see, you guys, this guy's ready to just put out and do whatever move that you want him to do. Or if you're in your office working and stuff and you tell him, come here at this time, and then you just take him out back... You know what I mean? For a little sum sum for your fix, sis, he will show up. Like, he's ready just to let, do any move for you. You know what I mean? He's ready for you to sit on his face wherever the hell you want, okay? Just to make it up to be with you because he's sorry. And now he's ready to, like, make up and kiss you and just offer you his heart and keep kissing your butt until the good Lord takes you home, okay? So that's beautiful. So I love you guys so much. This has been a beautiful, gorgeous reading of reconciliation and strengthening. I love you so much. This guy loves you. Creator loves you. Everyone loves you. And I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot on this gorgeous, beautiful, God blessed day. So, this is for my babies who chose pile number three. How is my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space? What's their secret feels? Okay, so let's get into it. Also, my beautiful baby, 
Thank you for subscribing, liking the beautiful comments. I really truly appreciate it. And I'm, it makes my heart happy. So thank you so much. And what else? Yeah, if you are questioning any kind of services, I do have room for readings. I'm hella busy, but I do have room for readings. So all my services are listed on my website, cherishlovebear.com. Also, I have some written blogs on there. Anything you want to read, just, yeah, just follow your heart and check it out, cherishlovebear.com. All right, let's get into it. Pile number three, my three babies. How is your person feeling about you? Deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a living soul walking this planet Earth, okay? Let's get into it. Ooh, cool, we have that so 90, yes. Oh, what a beautiful surprise. Okay, I am on my knees, please forgive me. I am on my knees, please forgive me, wow. <laughs> okay, that's super hella strong. Way to pop off the reading, hey? Um, every night I close my eyes, I imagine you and me holding you in my arms forever. Every night I close my eyes, I imagine... Wow, this guy's really in his feels about you. This guy's really hardcore about you. This guy thinks about you 24-7. What did you do? There's a, <laughs> there's a meeting in my bed and you're invited. Okay. He really wants to shack up with you. He really wants to be under the same house with you. I have some really savage cards, you guys, in that I've made that are really heartless. But these are some mushy cards. Your person really wants to be physically intimate with you. Very mushy. Okay, we have balance. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Trapped in fear. Trapped in fear. Ooh, Pac. Oh, he's fine. So beautiful. I love him so much. Wow, you guys. Super, super crazy thinking about you all the time. Thinking about you all the time and everyone's talking shit and just everything then we have seek seek <clears throat> and reach out reach out then we have connection wow you guys so i'm gonna be real with you this guy is definitely Remember how I said he thinks about you day and night, day and night, like not a minute goes by where he's thinking about you. It's almost to the point where it's super obsessive and crazy, like really obsessive, crazy thinking about you all the time. Really super crazy, obsessive, almost unhealthy. Like he knows that there is a connection, like your person knows there's this connection and um, he feels it. I'm kind of this guy's yo, this is really super crazy, like. There's a lot of hemming and hawing instead of telling you, maybe he's told you how crazy he is about you, but we have a whole onslaught of like, like a lot playing out, you guys. It's almost unhealthy. It's almost unhealthy how crazy this guy's thinking about you. Almost scary to the point where it's restraining order. <laughs> almost the restraining order kind of crazy. Oh my lord. And he just keeps... Yeah. Has he showed up to your house or something? Has he showed up to your house? Has he, you know, showed up to your work? Has he showed you a picture? Has he sent you pictures of him, you know, um, trying to self-harm or something? Because I'm thinking this guy is really super crazy. So how he's thinking right now, he knows that he's... Um, there has to be, because we're getting, whenever this card pops up in my readings, it's court, it's judicial, it's very, so your person might be fresh out of jail, might be dealing with some kind of um, criminal offense, maybe he just went to rehab, maybe it was some kind of um, DUI, something in the criminal code, whenever this pops up, there's a judicial, maybe it's a, some, something as simple as a divorce, or something as simple as a three thousand dollar repo whatever it may be it's something that has to go through the courts whenever this card pops up for me so definitely something that's getting in the way and that has really um really kind of knocked it off kelter when it comes to coming towards you and stuff like that community service it could be that has caused a lot of ruckus and fights because we have the seven of wands here and seven of wands is all about um 
Seven of Wands is all about reaching at the top of the hill and winning no matter what, fighting, scrapping it out, you know what I mean? So I feel like this person is really, you guys are very in some hot water together. You guys are scrapping, you guys are fighting. There's a lot of fights. There's a lot of, no matter what happens, no one's going to win. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, there's a lot of, this is some effed up energy. <laughs> this is some effed up energy, you guys. Like it's really not very healthy. Not, not healthy. It's very crazy. This guy's really crazy. I'm going to be honest. What's going on here, creator God? Ancestors, what's going on here? What is this quartz? Like, what's the main fight that's going on here, creator God? Thank you so much. What's the main... Thank you, ancestors. What's the main scrap? The main fights? The main obsession? What's the main problem here, creator God? What's the main problem? Yeah, because I'm feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, when I tap into this energy, I'm feeling very uncomfortable. What's the main problem? What's the main arguments here? Too much. One more, one more. So I'm getting the chords, yes. So... Remember I said it could be something as simple as, um, simple as, um, divorce. So it might be relationship of the past, most likely a relationship from the past that a divorce that he's getting out of and the money question is up to question. So getting out of a relationship, there's always going to be like, you, you have this part of the mortgage, you take this dog, you take this whip, you take this skidoo, see do whatever you, you, we sell the boat and you take half the money. I take half the money. You have the kids shared custody. It's this battle that's going on. That's getting carried into your guys's relationship. It's a battle, a court battle between families. Your person's getting out of a divorce. Because also right here we have, I, that's like the court, that's like the court doors and folks walking out with like happy with the consensus made with the court. So even family fights over the kids is happening. A divorce and your person's really trying to stay strong with the heart based, trying to stay strong when it comes to trying to, trying to be strong through all this ruckus. When you go through a split or start a new life, he's just trying to not make any action towards you as much as he can because of everything that's going on in his own life which is court and which is family feuding over a family from the past relationship okay so that is where the hostilities come from that's where the, all the hostilities and fights comes from is because he has to deal with this judicial procedures the alimony questions the um yeah, you guys, there's a lot of relationship from the past, but nevertheless, like I said, this guy's really super obsessed. Makes me uncomfortable how crazy he is over you, but he knows there's this connection. I think in order for your guy to try and make it through these hard times with the, the divorce and with the court, the what your guy does to try and make it through and make it better is he does escapism, which is he thinks about you all the time, all the time. You're his happy place. So in order to help him through the pain of going through these courts, the separation, shared custody, you know, the money, the bag when it comes with the divorce, fighting with his ex, that kind of stuff, what really helps him. I'm not seeing any ex energy. Just so you know, he's not in love with his ex, but he's in love with his kids. He's in love with his kids. He's absolutely in love with his kids. So your person's a very great father. He um, definitely um, is going through the row. So what really helps him is to think about you. And it's almost crazy how much he thinks about you. But there has been this fight that's went down and some hostilities that, you know, maybe he wasn't giving you as much attention as you deserve or wasn't being completely honest with these procedures with you, even though he doesn't understand that you're a safe space and you would ha not have judged him, but he's feeling like you would have judged him. This is a justice. This is the courts. He is going through the courts. He is fighting with a past divorce and a past relationship. 
he, definitely most he is he is in courts he is fighting in a, in a divorce battle for his children or shared custody of something he gives a fuck about it could even be like horses i've seen people battle with cows and stuff like that this is a judicial procedure he's going through and he might have not have been spending as much time with you as he should or you guys might have not been as honest with he might have not have been as honest with you and that's where the hostilities and the scraps have come from is just because he's dealing with this hot mess right now in the current energy it's so strong you guys but what really helps him to really escape from the chaos and the torture of all these court all these judicial messy procedures is thinking of you whenever he thinks of you it's his happy place so he kind of escapes to you so he kind of thinks of you very obsessively to the point where i'm like bruh bruh <laughs> you know what i mean so he does like know that in the begin, like there is a lot of possibilities for him to come towards you in the future but he kind of feels like he wants to reach out but he doesn't know if you're even going to be there to take him back like we have the ten of swords he feels like there's been so much damage done that you will not even look at him or give him throw him a bone in the future he feels like he's messed up so bad where you're not even going to ever it can't be undone he feels like there's just complete destruction to your guys's connection that it can't be undone so he sees no shape way or form to ever make this relationship happy again because he feels like he messed up so bad so what he does in order to feel comfortable is his safe space is he imagines this fake world with you all the time but he doesn't even feel comfortable ever coming towards you in the future he would rather just be a hermit and just go within and just try heal by himself. He would just rather be a hermit and just take the loss, take the big L, big fat L, and just be a hermit and just take it and be by himself. I feel like eventually once, you know, all these judicial procedures, these court things, these court things are out, 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 and in the far, far future, he does plan to reach out to you in the far far future though so that's what i'm getting you guys is he just feels comfortable just going to la la land thinking about you you're his happy place but he's making no action no effort to come towards you in the future that's not what i'm seeing okay let's see what else needs to be said creator god i love you so much thank you creator god for all the messages thank you ancestors for all the messages that come through yeah baby just um yeah just try appreciate everything that you have right now because i notice whenever this card pops up it's like you're not really showing paying attention to what's already around you so you might be really super attached yourself thinking about this guy lately as of late you must have just been thinking about him really really hella lots where it's kind of like super attachment and we all know attachment is the root of all pain so make sure that you're just appreciating everything you got going on for you right now and i feel like you do have a lot going on for you right now you have so much to be thankful for so make sure that you're looking around and you're appreciating everything your sexy body your stomach on flat flat booty down pet egg that wop box make sure you appreciate how gorgeous and beautiful you are and how blessed you are to even have running water today okay i feel like it's really locking out how beautiful the beautiful things that you have going on in your life right now my baby but i'm not going to leave you at that because that's savage i just want to ask creator god what's in the future for you once you move on from this relationship because my recommendation is you gotta let it go you gotta let this relationship go you gotta let it go yes you got to let this relationship go <laughs> is what i'm getting for the healthiest highest your highest greatest good you have to let this relationship go once you let it go once you heal i just want to be nosy and see if there's love in the future for you once you go through your crying phase and your you know your healing phase you're eating a pail of ice cream phase let's see what's in store for you what's in store for you while you heal oh my lord yeah so you're going to definitely heal you guys yeah you're going to heal so 
Oh my lord, I can't make this up. We have the biggest healing card in the world. You're just gonna ha have to go through this massive, massive healing, you guys. That's all they're trying to tell you. Because we got all these healing cards, these new beginning cards, just with you, independent. So what they're saying is they're not, they're not telling me about... Um, a love that's coming in. They don't want you to focus on that. They don't want you to focus on a love that's coming in or any kind of potential lovers or potential, you know, one night stands. What they want you to do right now is just focus on you and focus on healing your broken heart because this relationship took a look out of you, took a super lots out of you. And it sucks because you know when someone loves you so much and you love them so much, but it's just not the healthiest way right now. And it's not for your hate your greatest and highest good because it's just going to lead to heartbreak and it's just going to lead to attachment issues you know what i mean so just know that you do deserve to be loved in the most healthiest form and you do deserve a healthy healthy love and a lot of the pain that's being caused right now is like i said that those attachment issues right attachment issues are always from parents always trying to flip over backwards to get your parents approval just so they would love you attachment issues you guys and then you carry that model onto your your lovers i'll do anything i'll attach to you it's a very unhealthy clingy love you know what i mean that comes from the modeling of your parents and most of our parents didn't even know what the fuck they were doing they were just trying their best our parents ha were carrying around inner childs that did they 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 didn't even heal you know what i mean so what creator is trying to tell you right now is just focus on you my baby focus on your big you're very abundant you have all these riches you have a great career you can go anywhere do anything so how about spend that time on a spiritual advisor or going playing soccer buying a chihuahua dog buying a best friend therapy dog and just know that you do have a new beginning a new cycle that's coming in that's going to lead you in the right direction of your b biggest beautiful most wildest dreams on an independent but it's like i said it's on an independent basis you're going because you need to heal you need to heal this heartbreak it's going to take you a long it's not going to take you a long time it's going to take you a while to heal from this heartbreak you guys and that's what they just want you to focus on your ancestors and creator right now they want you to focus on just healing that heartbreak they want you to go from this to this today they want you to just lay there and be sad today okay you're gonna come out of this storm you see the tornado in the background you're gonna come out stronger wiser you're gonna boss the fuck up and you're going to be that amanda nunez to the world you're gonna come out stronger and more beautiful than ever so go on amazon buy a shiny unicorn eight inch dildo they have really nice confetti ones on there for 31.99 free if you have prime go buy that dildo and just focus on you boo boo because they just want you to focus on your healing they're not trying to tell you about any lovers coming in okay so yes I love you so much, my beautiful baby. I'm so sorry you have to go through this heartbreak. I'm sending you so much love through the through the camera. And I love you so much. And I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Jeez. Jeez. Hi, my beautiful loves. Hi. And welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. I love you so much. And I'm welcoming you here with so much love and hugs through the camera. Okay. Thanks for all of the new subscribers. I see you guys and just thank you guys so much from the bottom of my beautiful heart. Okay. All right. So my gorgeous babies, this is for my pile number four. How's your person feeling about you deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a mother F a walk in this planet earth. Okay. So this includes their mom, their best friend, their neighbor, they get drunk with, you know what I mean? Includes everybody. It's the secret, the nitty gritty. I go there. Okay. All right. Also, if you guys want any services, check out my website, cherishlovebear.com. I have blogs. I have a lot of, um, what do you call those testimonials that I have to put down on there that, but honestly, I've been lazy. I'm not a technology person. So yeah, check out my website, cherishlovebear.com. I also have blogs on there and yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. My beautiful baby, my beautiful love pile. Number four, what is your person feeling about you? Deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a mofo walk in this planet. Uh, 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 uh. I feel like it's toxic at the moment. Please, please, please have my babies. I need to have you forever and ever. Okay. Wow. This guy, this guy, this guy. I promise I will put out every day if you take me back. I effing love you. 
Wow, you guys. This is really, really super, <laughs> super hardcore. This, so this is definitely a, quite the bond you guys have going on here. Very, very like thirsty, very thirst lusting, thirst trapping over you, possibly looking at your pictures every night and beating it off, you know? What do we have here? Suffering or trapped in fear, pretty much suffering in silence too, I was gonna say that. But yeah, trapped in fear. What a magical Disneyland kind of card. Where's those other cards? Oh, they're right there. All right, these ones I'm gonna pull out. Expectations, 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 expectations. And we have official person. Ooh, so official, so official. And then we have, do, 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 baby come back, you can blame it all on me. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. <clears throat> then we have the attraction. Attraction. The thirst lusting over you. Wow, you guys. We have the wedding. Holy shit. Forgiveness. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Which is like relates to, I promise I'll put it out every day if you take me back. I effing love you. Rest and reconsider. Rest and reconsider. Hunger day, yo. Hunger day, yo. Hunger, 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 hunger day, yo. Hunger. And then we have teach. Teach. Sit down, kids, and effing listen, including you, you little bastard in the back. Sit your ass down. That card. That's the card you guys have. All right, so my beautiful babies, what I'm getting from here is this guy is at the crossroads. Meet you at the crossroads, you went be lonely. Meet you at the crossroads, you went be lonely. Cause he knows that you're waiting for him. He knows that you're waiting for an answer. He knows that you're waiting for um, him to straighten out and straighten up. Like my old teacher used to say, shape up or ship out, you know what I mean? Before I get kicked out of the class. But definitely he's waiting, You're. he knows you're expecting better and he knows that you're expecting an answer from him. A, and like, are we, are we together? Are we not together? We vibing, we ain't vibing? Are we popping off with this new life? Yeah? No? Like, bitch, tell me. So that's kind of your energy. You're just definitely waiting and he knows that the ball's in his court and he has to make a decision. That's why he's like all trapped in fear, really thinking about, oh no, I have to give up my, I have to give up my, my status of, you know, like playing the field. I can't be a Casanova anymore. I have to be a relationship guy. So he's really thinking about his like, what's going on and at the same time he's fighting his old ways which is old player ways where he just like dangles chicks left and right where he has no commitment probably never been in love before and if he has had relationships he didn't give a shit about them up until you because he knows he can't mess with you he knows that he kind of um brings in that to, that little like that casanova behavior where it's kind of like wham bam thank you ma'am or if he did have relationships in the past it was kind of like they were mats and he can do whatever he wants because he got away with it so he knows that if he gives up his hollywood ways you know your person has to be like some kind of low-key famous he gotta own his own businesses he's got to be well known place professional sports he's all over the place i see him traveling a lot for what he does and he knows that he has a lot of chicks in every city that's just what that's how he sees it that's just what he sees yeah see we're getting this official person this is like famous this is like very famous well known in your city well known in your town well known in your country your person's very well known for the achievements that he has achieved in his life so he does have a lot of broads that throw themselves at him he does have um pussy wherever he goes okay let's get that out of the way wherever he goes chicks just throw themselves at themselves at him and he knows it so meanwhile you're at home back in back home his 10 the one that no matter what where he goes in the country he can never never be duplicated you can never be duplicated and he knows this so he's like damn now that like i found my perfect 10 i'm just like yo what do i do you know what i mean so he's really in this contemplation time where he's just like out of all of the girls you're my one and only girl you know what i mean he's in that contemplation time right now so he's really thinking of like 
should I commit to her? Should I say yes or should I say no? You know when you're in like junior high or in elementary school and you give your crush the note that says, do you like me? Yes or no, circle yes or no and give it back. Remember, that's how we used to ask people out. The good old days when kids could actually slap each other around and could actually hug and wrestle out in the freaking park and like throw each other on the swings and it was normal. You know what I mean? Back in those days. So yeah, so that's how your person's feeling about you. He's like, I don't know if I should circle yes or no. I don't know if I should go left or if I should go right. I don't know if I'm coming or going. I don't know if I want to be with her. So he's really in this contemplation time, really weighing out his options because he knows he's hot shit. Well, he thinks he is. And he's like, I don't know if I should like make it official with her because that's a huge deal for him because he never makes it official with nobody, okay? But there is, he cannot deny that there's this beautiful attraction. There's a, such a powerful, beautiful attraction. He's like, why am I so damn attracted to her? Why am I so in love with her? Why am I so attracted to her? Like, he's trying to figure out why. I want to know. Because I'm getting, this is the strongest energy that you could ever have with somebody. Like, this guy, I'm getting that this has to be, like, some kind of, like, hardcore, you, like, this is a very hardcore relationship, you guys. This is a really powerful, deep connection, and your person cannot deny it. He was trying to deny it in the past, but he can't deny it anymore. Creator God, please tell me why this is a very powerful connection. Ancestors, why is this such a powerful connection? Because this is a very high vibrational connection. Can you please tell me why this is a high vibrational connection? I'm actually going to take this one too. Why is this a high vibrational connection? Like, why is this such, why, why is this powerful? Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. All right. I get it. All right. So this is a twin flame connection. I'm just going to say, cause that's what I was picking up on. It kept, kept saying to me, but I, of course me, sometimes I doubt, doubt myself, but I just needed to validate it. So this is a powerful twin flame connection. And I don't throw that around lightly. You guys, you guys have the potential here to go till the next lifetime. You guys have the potential to go till you're 90 years old, sitting on those rocking chairs, watching your grandkids play out on the bio. You know what I mean? Wrestling each other, slapping each other around like normal kids, possibly breaking a limb like normal kids. You know what I mean? So this is definitely a beautiful dynamic, but you're in that phase of twin flamery where it's like going through this very pinnacle um, spiritual awakening separately and really finding your divinity separately. You guys are in the twin flame union where you guys are separated right now and you guys are going through finding who you are coming closer to your divine essence, being more genuine and authentic in what you came here to do and what you came on this planet to do. So you guys are both in separation doing this soul searching, but at the same time, but at the same time, you guys are like both like, you guys are both analyzing one another as well as finding out who the fuck am I, you know, deep within. But this is a twin flame union. And the reason why the power bond is so powerful is because you guys were meant to come here. But in order to come together, you guys, the separation needed to happen for your person to really dive deep within and to go, why am I so, why is she so different? Why am I so attracted to her? Why is she different than, than all these ones that I take down? All these um, fucking chucks, all these different women in different cities. Cities. why is she the one that just when I lay my head down at night why do I think about her all the time so you're like this person's person you're this person's person like you're his anchor and like he's all about you he's all like his mind always goes back to you like you're his partner you're like I said the reason why this is such a strong relationship is because you guys are going to be you guys have the possibility the opportunity to go till death do us part and there's no such thing as death there's just a transfer of world so until the next life until we go to the transference of worlds to paradise to Kichimuntu which is heaven in my language you guys have the potential to go like all out but you guys are in the separation phase of twin flames where you guys are taking the time out to really work on your passions visit your families do what makes you happy so you guys are in that phase phase right now but you guys do have the dynamic you guys do have this great partnership you guys do finish each other's sentences you guys can build an empire together is what i'm seeing you guys are in the beginning beginning journeys of like lifelong partners you guys are in that lifelong partner phase where you guys are both eyeing each other up sizing each other up and stuff this guy is crazy over you this guy sees you as a trophy wife this guy is crazy over you this guy can't wait to rip your clothes off every day 
this guy sees you as the best he won with you liking him this guy sees you as the queen boss ass bitch that you are the best wap box out of eight billion chicks this is how that guy sees you he sees you as you you're always staying wet always that's just who you are you're just the best in the world you're just gorgeous you're the trophy wife like need i say more like the song i want you to channel to to listen to after this reading is um i won by future featuring kanye i won it's called okay and that's how this guy feels about you like he's just so enamored and in love with you and he's asking himself like i've he's like thinking i have messed with so many good looking chicks and yes my person's very good looking but why is she so different like your energy is addicting to him you know why because you guys are bare are twin flames this temperance card is my twin flame card you guys are definitely twin flames and you guys are on that journey right now where you're in separation trying to find each other trying to do each other's own like why am i here why am i life purpose and this is what a really hardcore connection does is they get you to question look at yourself in the mirror and face your shadow side to bring out those weaknesses that you didn't even know those demons in the closet that you didn't even know existed that is what your hardcore life partner brings out you guys your high ascended twin flame brings out all the shadow aspects that you didn't know you had to face them to wrangle them and to become a better version of yourself you guys that's what happens and you guys are in that phase of separation where you guys are definitely taking looks in the mirror and going through this very painful spiritual awakening separately but it's because to get into stronger more better union you guys are creator god is bossing you guys both up to be very independent very strong two independent souls coming together to create a powerful divine union eventually and i do see wedding i do see a marriage and i do see wedding i do see the potential of growing old with this person and teaching the generations of healers i see a onslaught of army of healing if you guys ever made a seed they would you would definitely be bringing in crystallized kids to help heal the collective you guys would get married and have kids and those kids would definitely be some star seed extra terrestrial fucking powerful ascended master kids you know what i mean so you guys have this beautiful potential and opportunity right now to really hardcore create an empire in the future moving forward he really is going to step up to you step up to the plate and he's really hoping that you forgive him that he was a fool and that he's taking this time to really see what the f but it's more why, why is he is he reacting like this like why does he feel like this so he's doing a lot of soul searching going through like a dark night of the soul going through a spiritual awakening and you guys are doing this right now separately so if you think that you've been doing this on your own like very affected by this relationship on your own baby he's been going through some spiritual awakening awakening shit at the same time as you have but you guys are just doing it separately and so the reason why he's being held back right now and not making action towards you in this present energy is because he's really going through his own shiz and he's really trying to assess and evaluate why he feels the way he feels about you what did i come to this world to do am i meant to be a one woman guy could i do it i can see my whole life with her though i can see her bearing my kids he never thought of children before you he never thought of having lots of kids with someone until he met you he never thought about breaking the condom on purpose until he met you like he never ever thought about getting pregnant someone on purpose until he met you you know what i mean like we got all these thirst bags out here that are about breaking the condom for that alimony check but with you he would actually want to tie you down it's the opposite that's the difference between all these other broads and you but like i said you guys really have to get into that independence mode go through this whole painful spiritual experience alone you're never alone just so you know there's 30,000 ancestors who have your back okay but you know what i mean like getting into your mojo finding what makes your heart happy your passions your healings everything finding diving more into your self-love just as he is because he's taking all this time when he thinks about you he's going through this powerful powerful healing and he's really like thinks about you all the time and he's really resting and considering and he only sees you as his wife nobody else and his baby mama so let's get into what else he feels about you but yeah so spotify apple music that song you guys it's called i won by future that is how your person is feeling about you so this is what he's feeling about you when we first connected eyes you had me my heart skipped so you just snatched his soul on sight on sight son on sight but what does he expect you're a 10 
You're a mog. Everyone, every man would be lucky to even be in the same room as you. Lights, camera, action. Move over, Miss Jackson. A 10 is amongst y'all. So yeah, like I said, you're a, you're a heartbreaker. You're a showstopper. Whoever's watching, bitch, you are a showstopper. Okay, so after this reading, I want you to go into the, go into the motherfucking bathroom, flip your hair in the mirror, and be like, you're that bitch. Okay, and I need you to put on some, I'm just a bachelor, looking for a partner, someone who knows how to ride. I want you to play that song and just dance naked and look at how gorgeous you are, because bitch, you're a trophy. You're a trophy wife. This guy knows it. Everyone knows it. Any grocery store and gym you walk into, everybody knows it. They, they would pray that a chick like you sat on their face. That's how gorgeous you are. I'm in a toxic relationship I don't know how to get up. So remember how I said this guy goes to every city, dabbles with a bunch of chicks. He has a lot of chicks on speed dial. He's probably going through the phase where he has to dump a lot of his side pieces. You know what I mean? Which is a process. What else does he think? Just tell me. So it's once in a while this guy is like, I just, when he thinks about you all the time, the contemplation period where he feels like he's really like trapped. You know what I mean? Where he's going through this rest and consider and where he's going through this um, not coming towards you energy and he's just thinking about you all the time. He really sometimes just feels like baby. Some day days he just wishes you would just tell him because he, he really wants that. But like I said, you guys are going through the separation phase right now. Let me take you on a date, fit royal things. So this guy wants to take you out, wine dine 69 and... He wants you to dress up in the tens. He wants you to look like his trophy wife and he wants to show you off. He wants to make an Instagram picture with you. He wants to own you. He wants to just be so, um, he wants to have pictures of you guys together so he can keep them and so he can look at them all the time. He wants to see pictures with you guys together. He wants your beautiful, gorgeous ass and him holding you by the hip and he wants to take pictures and make that something he looks at all the time because he loves you. You're so fucking beautiful, my watcher, is what I'm getting. You're a 10 and so is he. So you guys are definitely a really good looking, really freaking good looking couple together. And you guys are going through the separation phase of your twin flame phase, but it's bringing you closer to who you are in this world and your divine purpose. And it's making you stronger within. So you guys can be stronger when you guys come together. Because it is going to take a little, a little while, a little process until you guys come together. So just be patient. Try to do as much non-attachment exercises as pos possible because we all know attachment is the root of all pain. So make sure that you know that this is worth waiting for and that he just has eyes on you. But he has to get rid of a lot of those chicks that were in his little black book that he would, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And just give it patience, my baby. So I just need, I just want more advice cards for what you can do on your end with this union what can my watcher do my creator god thank you creator god for all the messages that come through advice what you can do oh yeah get call all your power back i call all my energy and all my power back to me call all your power back is the advice one more advice card ancestors thank you so much ancestors and creator god <laughs> okay yeah so just enjoy your family enjoy the family enjoy your mother your grandma enjoy your uncle's card night poker night go out with your crazy cousins just focus on going to the gym waxing your cootie cat just focus on laughing card nights game nights you know what i mean you do a lot of the I am affirmations. I am whole. I am gorgeous. I am beautiful. I'm a boss ass bitch. I am the most beautiful woman in the world. I am healed. I'm on a twin flame journey, etc. The I am. Do your passions and step back into that lioness boss ass bitch energy, okay? That's key right now. And just rest and rejuvenate from your ego and thinking really hella crazy because I know once in a while you think hella crazy because, you know, your mind likes to get really super wound up. Where's that other card? Okay, so yeah, focus on the bag, focus on your work, focus on a vacation, book a vacation somewhere in your country. So South Carolina has some really nice um, 
some nice beach houses. Miami has some nice Airbnbs. You want to check that out. So just focus on yourself, my beautiful boss ass independent baby. And pray, send loving light and healing light to your divine counterpart. Because right now he's going through this massive spiritual awakening. And you helped him with that. And that's what twin flames do to each other. But out of all the women, you're that woman, okay? So focus on your bag. And yeah. This is beautiful. This is such a beautiful reading. Just play, have card nights and board game nights with your family because you are the most beautiful bitch walking the baddie of the family. So you are a leader. So just, yeah, keep having family, be goofy and tap into that inner child while you're waiting and being patient, okay? So I love you so much, my beautiful baby. I love you so much and I'm sending you so much hugs through the beautiful, beautiful camera. I love you guys so much. Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. So this is for my beautiful bougie bitches who chose pile number five. How's my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space that they do not tell the bartender on a Friday watching their favorite NBA game or their best friend, their sister, nobody. They don't tell nobody. So this is their deep, deep, most secret feelings about how they feel about your beautiful face when it pops up to their head, okay? So let's get into it. Also, thank you guys for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you. And for those of you asking me about readings, all my information is listed down below. My email, everything, so holler at me. Uh, CherishLoveBear.com if you want any kind of services listed. I also have blogs on there, cherishlovebear.com. I'm honestly going to have to really rejuvenate my website though because there's a lot of testimonials that I need to add, okay? I do have room for readings right now, so holler at me if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading. I'll make time in my schedule because I'm a busy bitch, but I got time for you, okay? So holler at me. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. How is your beautiful person thinking about you in their head and their heart combined and i don't know if the guy's beautiful i just don't know let's get see you're so crazy and i love it wow that's cute you're so crazy be my baby be my baby could you get any more mother effing find zucchini emoji? <laughs> so if you guys don't know what the zucchini emoji, find it. It's the purple one that's a fruit on your cell phone, okay? Because that's how your person thinks about you when he's looking at your pictures right in this very moment. Guaranteed he already has, like I say, guaranteed he already has like a portfolio of you on his phone that's listed says baby on it and then he already has like a collection of photos on you that you might not even know he has most of the pictures of you because he stole them off your social media. That's how crazy, um, fine, attracted this guy thinks you get him hot and heavy. That's, that's straight up what's up. So daydreams and decisions, okay? We start off with daydreams and decisions. Strengthening bonds. Strengthening bonds. Strengthening bond. You know what I forgot, you guys, with this pile? Why though? Why? I don't think I forgot it, but you know what I think I forgot? I think I forgot, um, some tarot so i'm gonna actually get some tarot for you guys also creator thank you for everything that comes through thank you creator for everything that comes through oh, thank you two more cards feeling feeling holy man you guys this is pretty crazy <laughs> wow and we have at the bottom the gorgeous lovers card you guys this guy's in love with you he's so crazy not only does he think that you're the baddest bitch walking but this guy is so in love with you out of all the four billion women in the whole entire world this guy's in love with you he's so in love with you so there's no doubt in my mind that this guy is in love with you and he's not he's attracted to you you he, oh my gosh, the zucchini, you guys. This guy's hot and heavy over you. He, like I said, he has like a portfolio of you. He already imagined your guys' life together kind of thing. Here is wish fulfillment. 
you get this guy hot and heavy. Nobody can do it like you. Like you're everything he's ever wished for when he was a little boy. Just, you know, just the little kid, not even, you know, one hair on his chest and he was just thinking about you. He molded you, he fantasized about you. He put you on a motherfucking vision board. He had posters of you that, the ones that he was allowed to have on his wall, he had of you. And then you just came to life like a, like a wish come true. This guy's so crazy over you. We have all the knights here except Knight of, Cu uh, Knight of Wands. But no matter, this is kind of like the Knight of Wands because it's like the boner card, you know what I mean? This guy is so crazy in love with you, you guys. Anyways, I'll shut up and I'll finish. Community card. Did you see that? Community card. Wow, yes, we have the marriage card. <gasps> this guy's so crazy in love with you, you guys. He's so crazy in love with you. Crazy in love, Beyonce. You deserve love. He tries to G himself up and be like, I deserve her. I deserve her for giving and learning. And we have suffering in silence why why are you suffering in silence he's so in love with you life purpose he sees that you guys have a lot of things that are intertwined together whether you guys both work in human services whether you guys serve humanity he sees that you have a huge heart and that you guys are doing something where you guys would actually bounce off each other's um maybe you guys are like public speakers that go in public speak about alchemy and about um forgiving people and you guys are definitely earth warriors. Both you guys are earth warriors who are here to really help elevate the frequency of humanity. You guys are both very um, sixth sense, very psychic aware, both of you and your person. So you guys have this very familiar passion for community and the collective that you guys share. And he sees that. And definitely with the whole suffering and silence thing i'm like bruh why are you so suffering in silence why don't you just come forward because right now in the current energy he's taking his sweet ass time to come towards you and tell you to really let's make this official let's stamp this envelope and be together you know what i mean he's kind of hemming and hawing um he doesn't he's not very 100 percent transparent with you when it comes to what he really want he wants to take this to the next level he wants to marry you he already imagined a life with you in his head he just hasn't told you any of this he hasn't told you any of this he's taking his sweet time to come towards you and tell you and i just have a feeling it's something as simple as his own it's just because of his fears because he loves you and he recognizes the soul connection between you guys that's beautiful he wants to cut through the bs and come towards you Yeah, okay. Thank you, Creator God. Thank you, Ancestors. Yeah, so he's taking his time to come towards you and have this beautiful new beginning. He's taking his time to come towards you and have this beautiful new beginning and start this beautiful, strong foundation with you. Shack up, have kids, white picket fence, live wherever, buy that condo together. You know what I mean? Discuss birth control options you can go on. That kind of stuff. Like he's taking his time because he has to walk away from his old life. He's in the process of walking away and getting rid of his old life and walking away from things, people, communities that no longer serve him, this old life that he was living, it doesn't match up to the frequency he is today. That old life that he was living with that old partner and that old community and those old familiar sports teams, everything is not fitting who he is today. Your person recently went through this massive, massive um, ascension process this huge huge ascension process where he elevated he went through a dark night of the soul and it really he came out such a different person and this was triggered from maybe it was a death i'm getting like a death of somebody maybe a parent or the loss of a child your person went through but it changed his whole entire life and he knows he's never going to be the same again so he's in the process right now why he's like going through this um suffering in silence kind of thing and kind of holding back 100% from telling you how much he's so in love with you, how much he just wants to marry you, how much, how perfect you are for him, how perfect you are for him. You're the peanut butter to his jelly. You know what I mean? You're the coffee to his cream. 
you're the apple to his tree. Everything you guys, he's wait, like he doesn't, he's withholding telling you all this because and cutting through the bullshit. So he's like com comfortable looking at all your pictures and stuff and just like jerking off to them and shit. Because honestly, you guys, because this guy's walking away from everything in his life that used to, he's not even the same person that he is. He doesn't fit into his old community that he was before. Um, and this rocks his world. He's going through this massive transformation that's rocking everything who he thought he once was. So he's going through this massive spiritual awakening. And you know, that makes sense because your person is super psychic aware. He's elevated and he sees you doing your thing on your grind, helping the collective, helping people. Every person you meet, you help them. You're a natural healer and an empath. Your guys' life purpose is so similar. You guys have so much things that are in common. Your person sees all this with you and it's just rocking his world you really helped him go through this also and to, as well as heal everything that he once thought he knew he's questioning so right now he's holding him he knows that he's holding himself back from you he knows that he's holding himself and that he's his own worst enemy and that he's delaying he's taking his sweet ass time coming towards you he know that he knows that he's delaying coming towards you and but he's doing this on purpose you guys that's the difference he's doing this on purpose because he wants to come towards you in the best possible way. Your person's a real man. He knows coming towards you, he's, he can't half-ass this. He knows that you are, any man would die to be with you. Any man would just die to be with you. So he doesn't want to half-ass it and come towards you with a half full cup. He wants to come towards you and give you what you deserve, which is a full man, healed, happy, like a real man. I'm getting really big dick vibes from your guy. Like he's such a great guy. And he's holding himself back because he really wants to be 100% with you. But once he's ready to go, th once he get, takes all these, um, all these beautiful lessons and all this healing from his dark night of the soul and moving out of the old life and letting go of the old energies and the old people and the old relationships that no longer serve him, he's deaf, deaf effing rights, you guys. He's going through this massive transformation he's not even who he was last year not even close he's not even he doesn't even recognize that person he can't even f, f with that person he can't he can't even relate to who he was a year ago you guys that's how much transformation your person has went through i really like your person i'm picking up a very nice energy from really great great guy really just a great stand-up citizen this person is with a damn good heart but he's gonna come towards you like crazy and he's gonna communicate all this to you he's gonna be very transparent but like i said he's a man he doesn't want to carry anything of baggage or old stagnant energies because he knows that you do not deserve that because you're his queen you're his queen and you're everything he's ever wished for since he was a little boy. Everything he's ever wished for. So he wants to come in with a clean slate, a clean nose, everything just beautiful and dandy for you. Because he sees, he puts you on this pedestal. He wants to really fresh, impress, you know what I mean? He wants to like wine dine 69 you. He wants to be, be the man to be with you. Sweep you off your feet the way you already swept him off his feet. Whether you know it or not, baby, you swept this guy off his feet. And sometimes he really has to like, especially going through the spiritual process that he's been going through, he G's himself up and he's like, I deserve her. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. I deserve this love. I deserve somebody like her. So he's so in love with you, you guys. You're so attractive to him. You're everything he's ever wished for. If you put you and Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez side by side in your prime, he would still choose you over and over and over and over every single day. And he tells himself, I deserve her. She's my wife. So in his head, he already has like the Pinterest portfolio. He's already has you already his wife, his baby mama. Okay. But like I said, he's letting go. The reason why he's kind of like suffering in silence and stuff is he's trying to strengthen himself up to come towards you and get rid of everything from his past, his ex, his old life, his old relationships, his old stomping grounds possibly even cities this guy's getting rid of everything he's this is a massive massive spiritual awakening you guys he's going through things that he has never went through before and you just came in like a wrecking ball <laughs> i don't like saying that because it's so miley cyrus she's such an annoying kid but i really respect her polarity but anyways like you just came in like crazy smashed him off his feet and you're just like you just came in like took his heart as soon as he met you he was like oh my gosh i'm you swept him off his feet you guys and it was like you were just this beautiful fresh mountain water straight from the gods and it was you swept him off his feet on sight 
and now he's just like she deserves the best and i'm gonna come at her with the best the way she gave me the best i'm gonna give her the best so your person's going through this massive spiritual awakening healing taking everything that he's learned and really amounting it to and taking it so he can come towards you and offer you all the love all the love and all the marriage and all the best because this guy's so in love with you and he sees home in you when he looks into your eyes he sees home you guys like that mariah carey song when i look into your eyes feels like the first time I don't know which song that is. I think it's called Joyride by Mariah Carey. So yeah, you're just like that beautiful love song and he just like wants to come towards you with all the love and all the happiness in the world. And you're the love of his life and he wants to be with you. But your man's a man and he's comfortable just like, um, he only sees having a happy family with you. Like I said, sit JLo, Beyonce and you in a room together and God says pick one in their prime, he would still pick you over and over again nobody else because there's nobody like you why because you guys are peanut butter and jelly and you guys are made for each other okay so let's see what your ancestors have to say and creator god has to say about this relationship Ooh, yeah there's a lot of stuff he's having to battle to come towards you you guys in the present energy and one more thank you creator god yeah wow so your guy is definitely going through a massive massive transformation remember i said all oh, this is such transformation energy and how he's like walking away from every, everything he's ever known and that includes his community the way he grew up maybe he's like super religious family super like you only date within our culture kind of family you know what i mean you only date within our age range kind of family i'm getting just so much things he's breaking you guys because he recognizes the bond between you two. He's walking away from everything he's ever known. Maybe strict, strict parents that are like, you only marry Italians. You know what I mean? Like he's walking away from everything. And uh, like, you know, maybe they're really strict. Like you only marry Italians. You only marry French. Or you only marry Mesoamericans. You only date black. He's breaking through all these just to be with you. He's not listening to his parents. He's not listening to his brothers, his sisters. He's only relying on the friends that are coming up with him that actually support him and love him for who he is. So he's going through all these massive spiritual awakenings. He's paying attention to all the red flags, all the people of the past who no longer serve him and he's letting them go. And he's gonna come back to you and beg for your forgiveness. You see how this guy's begging her for forgiveness? This has a lot to do with the way he grew up and it has a lot of him walking away from the very stagnant his the family members in his life who hold him back he's really starting to see that and he's starting to walk away from family members parents and he's disagreeing with them and he's saying no but that's not right love is love love is the most powerful frequency in the world and i can love who i motherfucking want to love so f you if you don't support me in this then f you so he's learning how to walk away and choose his heart and following his heart and choosing his highest path because he knows that he deserves the best and he sees you as the best so he's walking away from everything he ever knew to have this beautiful new relationship with you and he just hopes at the end of the day that you forgive him that you forgive him and he's gonna pray that you come back in his life i want to see his next actions in the far future though what are his next actions in the far future creator god this is a really beautiful reading what are his next actions in the future creator god thank you creator god thank you what are his next actions oh Okay, so his next actions. Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Creator. His next actions. Thank you, Creator. His next actions. Okay, so definitely he's going to come out of this energy of being to himself, being super crazy, you know, because obviously, obviously he's going through this because he's going through this massive transformation in his life. So he's collecting everything that he can, like mostly just his finances from his old life and he's effing off. 
because he's walking away from a very tight, rigid, rigid ideals of his past. He's saying F it and he's walking towards his greatest and highest good, which is you. And his next actions are yes, baby. He's going to come guns a blazing like crazy and you're his finish line. He's going to come towards you like crazy. He's going to see you, but it's going to happen when you're in your like very, very power where you don't even need him. But if he comes into your already beautiful chocolate sundae, it's going to be a bonus. So you're not even going to expect him when he comes in. You're going to be so happy doing you. You're going to be so happy in your passion, laughing with your friends, already going out on Saturday nights, having fun and doing what makes you happy every day. A lot of self-love. It's going to happen when you're so happy and you're so in your power that it's going to be like, oh, damn, there you are. You know what I mean? You're going to be so happy and he's going to heal it. He's going to come in and he's going to heal everything. It's going to be a beautiful, gorgeous healing because you're his Hollywood star. You're the woman of his dreams. You're his baby mama. You're his perfect 10. You're everything that he's ever prayed for since he was a little baby. We have all these cards. You're the love of his life. You're the love of his life. So he's going to come in when you're so happy. You're so, your cup is so full that when he does come in, it's just the bonus love because you're already going to be so full of love. So that's the time frame. Just be so happy and full of love within yourself that when he does come in, it's going to be so unexpected because don't doubt that you are the love of his life and he thinks about you so crazy. Like I said, he spies on you all the time and he has that portfolio on his phone of you and your wedding planned out and the groomsmen. He already has everything planned out because he's in love with you. So I love you so much. I love you so much and I'm sending you so much hugs through the camera and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi, my beautiful babies. Hi, thank you for being me with me here today. I really love you guys and I thank you guys for all the nice, beautiful comments. And to my new subscribers, hi, welcome. And thank you for being with me here today. So this is for my beautiful babies who chose pile number six. How is my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space, deep down in their thoughts, their secret thoughts they don't, they, they don't tell nobody walking this whole entire planet, okay? It's just their higher self in them, okay? So let's get deep right into it. It's just, I love you guys so much. And um, I'm not drunk, I'm totally sober. So also, uh, if you guys want a personal reading, check out my website, cherishlovebear.com. Also go to the links linked down below. I have my email my prices and I do have rooms for readings right now so holla at me okay so let's get into it number six how is your person feeling about you deep down in their heart space that they don't tell a mother a walk in this planet okay let's get into it man you guys have a lot of cards crazy you guys have so much cards it's I don't know why no one comes close to you in this town not even mother effing close okay k baddie bad bitch can we just effing skip to the part where we wake up together forever? Aw, you guys. Aw. This guy's just crazy. Crazy over you. Crazy. God made you for me. You fit me like a glove. You were made for me. Wow. Holy man, this guy's nuts. Maybe we have lots of cards because he just loves you so much because I'm getting that this guy is super crazy, crazy, crazy in love with you, like crazy in love. Like, wow, you guys, who are you dealing with? Challenging times. And then we have control. Then we have for your tarot. Then we have for your tarot. For your tarot, my beautiful baby. Man, you guys have a lot of cards. Ooh, baby, I love your way every day. I want to be with you every day. Wow, this is so gorgeous, you guys. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. This is such a beautiful love story. I dig this. This makes me so happy. Because we had some readings that were super, like, not the best today. So this is such beautiful energy I'm picking up. Message of concern. Wow, you guys. that This is so lovely. Courthouse. Courthouse. Courthouse with his fake wig. Um, it's so sloppy. <laughs> okay, where are we at? 
the waiting game. Mm. Don't we just love to see that card, right? Don't we just love to see that? We have flirts. We have flirts here. I'll just show you flirts. And this could be the one. Wow, you guys. This can be the one. The garden. I'm going to sow this life. I'm going to sow this life. We're going to try sow this together. So this guy sees this relationship as hella abundant. Very abundant. Very, you guys can manifest the life of your dreams together kind of thing as I'm getting. Because whenever the garden um, pops up, I'm just going to move these over here. Whenever the garden card pops up, you guys, it's like all about we are going to sow the seeds of our empire. We are going to build this massive empire together. And we're going to build that house, build that condo, own that land we are going to take over the world so that is how your person's kind of thinking when they think about you how much can we like run the world kind of deal and he sees that with you and the waiting game he's so in love with you so if you guys wondered yes remember how i was saying he's super crazy over you like where he just wants to wake up with you every day for you to be his wifey and for you to just marry him, be his ride or die, the love of his life. The, like, this guy is so in love with you. This guy has the uppermost love for you, a healthy love. His love runneth over like the water from the tip of the mountains that melts into jugs and then he drinks it. Like that's the kind of rejuvenation that even glancing at you gives him. This guy has a high when he thinks of you. It's a high money can buy. Why? Because... You're everything that he's ever prayed for, everything throughout the years, even when he knew that he can get a little boner, he always would think about somebody like you. And it's just like you walked out of the clouds and God like just dropped you off and said, there, my son, there, you've reached this level of life. You just, So he recognized you. It was this instant recognition that, wow, I fucking love her. Like she's everything I've ever prayed for physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. And he's definitely, definitely in the beginning had these times where it was just like stop and go, touch and go, stop and go. And you guys did have challenging ruckus in the beginning. And I want to know why. Why did you have this challenging ruckus in the beginning? What's going on? In the, why were you guys scrapping in the beginning? Wow, these are some powerful cards, you guys. Why was there scrapping in the beginning? <laughs> oh my god jeez so i think it was just like honestly i think it was just you guys had arguments over something stupid like have patience have patience i think you guys just didn't reach a consensus in the beginning of where you guys are gonna live or it was happening such groundbreaking pounding of heart and love that was going on between you and your person that it was just like you guys had minuscule arguments of just something cheap because all i'm seeing is just beautiful love and amazingness i think that you wanted to my watcher that you wanted to hurry and rush I think you wanted my watcher, you wanted to rush this love and you were kind of moving so fast where you were like, move in today, move in today, move in tomorrow or else your person was like, no, you have to come here to my house and we're going to shack up in my house. We're going to get married here when we're going to have our babies tomorrow. You know what I mean? So somebody here, there was a power dynamic where you guys couldn't agree on whether it was having kids or whether whose house are you giving up on, whose city you're moving up on, um, how much flight tickets are going to be you know, like gas money, something really stupid on this really successful connection. It was just a fight. So possibly it might have been jumping cities, travel, you know what I mean? Like flights, who's going to fly here? Who's going to fly there? Who's giving up their career? You know what I mean? So I think it was cheap like that. But nevertheless, these are some bomb ass cards, you guys. So maybe your person is bound in a contract where it's so crazy with his sports team or his company where he makes really lots of great money. Not saying you don't make a lot of money because I'm getting your energy that you are very successful, my watcher. You are so successful. You have a great career. You're very, you've come a long way. You've worked really hard. You are not afraid of hard work. You have crazy ass work ethic. You're a self-built millionaire. And I just feel like your person's really contractual bound. So he wants you to jump cities and 
I feel like that was the fight. Like, I feel like it was the fight of you guys have to move to this city and you have to get married and you have to live with me and we have to be around my family all the time. Because that is a huge, that's like a huge thing, you guys. Jumping cities are whose neighborhood to live in because then you're surrounded by their family. Then your mom, mother-in-law is going to be there all the time. Their brother is going to pop in random evenings and have a Bud Light in the back. You know what I mean? So just little, the little things are actually the big things. So you guys were going through your guys' relationship where the little thing discussions were actually getting in the way so that that is still a shitty fight that you little arguments but little things do kind of equate to like kind of big things so i think it was an argument of whose house or who neighborhood you guys are going to shack up in and get married in and yeah so even with this you know how sometimes men will try come in all needy and be like no it's gonna be like this this and this and this so he was kind of being i feel like your person was being very rigid and having this like picturesque plan already of how you are going to fit into his life so i feel like he was being really rigid and not like trying to throw you a bone when it comes to planning your guys' life together because like it or not you are 50 50 of the relationship so i feel like your guys' relationship it was arguing over who's going to have the location who's going to have the mortgage who's going to have the living situation I, th I have a feeling it was the shack up situation and the kids situation the marriage situation and you know some men are so controlling over that but baby it ain't the motherfucking 1960s out here we're out here doing our thing sister got her bag her career everything so it's a huge decision that does take some contemplation time uh, but i feel like your person was very rigid in his ways and wanted it today i feel like your person was like decide today decide today you know what i mean and you were like slow down slow down you're the love of my life and you're perfect but baby don't rush so i feel like there was a lot of rush and he was being impatient but he does want to, at the end of the day, he does, no matter what, no matter how many times you guys fight, no matter how crazy you guys say, I hate you, you know what I mean? It doesn't even matter because he loves you so much and he, at the end of the day, will always come back to you. His heart always comes back to you. He's crazy in love with you. He just has the uppermost respect and love for you. These are the most beautiful cards. He sees you as his wife. He just wants to skip to the part where you guys make up on red velvet cake and you guys can skip to the part where you guys wake up together forever. There's no kind of crazy malice, this little tiny, you know, like you moving to his city thing, planting the seeds, building your guys' empire together, building the house together, finding out more of each other, falling more into love with each other because I do feel like this is a new relationship, falling more into love with each other each and every day. He wants all of that with you. He doesn't want that with nobody else. He just wants that with you. He only wants that with you and nobody else. And he wants to build that house with you. And he knows that honestly nobody could ever turn him on like this and he is going to come towards you and he's going to tell you that he wants this new beginning he wants to wake up to you and bone you every single day he wants to eat your ass out like sunday morning brunch like he wants to do everything for you you guys he's so in love with you and he's going to come towards you and he's going to tell you all this like trust and believe sis this little fussle that you guys are in right now it's not going to last for long he's too crazy over you he's too hot and heavy over you when he thinks about you, this guy, man, he probably pops one and just gets a willy over you just thinking about you because he's so crazy over you. And he's going to come towards you and he's going to kiss your ass. And he's going to say, baby, just move with me. Like, move with me, I promise. My crazy ass mother-in-law or my mom won't be over every day. I'll put boundaries on my brother. I'll put boundaries on my best friends. You know what I mean? He's going to come kiss your butt. And you're going to get that message. You're going to get that message saying, baby, let's make this work. So it's just pretty much, it's not a big deal what you guys are arguing about. It's not a big deal. It's fixable. It's totally fixable. It's just the little details. And sometimes the little details equal big things, right? So you guys can reach this um, relationship, successful relationships. You guys always take that compatibility and that communication and the um, meshing together to really make a strong agreement, okay? compromise is what the word i was looking for every successful relationship you guys no matter who you are how long you've been married to compromise okay so your person just wants to know he wants you to know that you're the one you're the only one he wants to plant his seeds with you and he's planning his life with you he's really hoping that you still want to come back to him and live together i think it's a huge thing when it comes to where you guys are going to get married and living together because this is a a strong brand new relationship that's built on um like i said the mutual coming together of making things compatible with one another okay 
He wants to reach consensus on all of the little details with you so you guys can wine and dine together every single day for the rest of your life. Because he sees you as his wife, as his marriage, as his, he sees you as building this beautiful life with you. Like you guys, this is like, you guys have the potential to get married to this guy and be together forever. You guys have the potential to, like this guy, if he could, he'd marry you today. And he would be so happy to wake up to you, to come home to you, to kick off his boots and be like, baby, I had such the roughest day in the world. Put his size 17s in the closet, you know what I mean? Like this guy really just loves you. He doesn't love anybody else. And he hopes that you guys make it out of this little, t little tiny, t tiny little bump mole in the hill to make sure that you guys come out even better than ever before because he doesn't see anybody else long term in his life only you so that's so gorgeous you guys your guys so crazy over you and like i said he wants to take you down morning morning you know we all love that morning dick down and evening nighttime couple times all right so be prepared for that and be prepared when he does come forward with all this crazy affection and you know, kissing your butt, that you make sure you're on some birth control because it's going to be crazy and hot and heavy, okay? So let's get some more feeling cards, how your person's feeling about you. But this is honestly, you guys, such a gorgeous, beautiful reading as it is. Like, this is like the happiest beautiful like marriage this guy sees with you and it's like the celebration of a lifetime like this is such a beautiful beautiful reading you guys so let's get them some feelings of how else he's feeling like you about you you're like the first sip of pina colada in mexico airport okay and who doesn't love going on vacations just a loaded bank account with your best girlfriends and guy friends and just like having that sip of pina colada in the airport and just joking laughing around and talking Talking with your best buddies Every, that's like this is the one this is like the best time in the whole entire world is when you're in the airport and you have that first sip of, of macchiato mixed with um, sangria teenage fever see what I mean this is a new love you make him feel like a teenager again you're everything he's ever wished for since he was a little baby and had hair on his chest and honestly he feels like a little teenager around you like he is heartbeats when he thinks of you his heart beats and he gets nervous. He's so in love with you. He's so happy, you guys, that he met you. He's so happy. He can't wait to get married to you and spend the rest of his life with you and wake up with you each day. Trust and believe there's going to be a wedding. I trust you completely. Mind, body, and all of my soul. Wow, you guys. This is so beautiful. Well, what the F? How was I to know? <laughs> uh, I dreamt you. Nine of Cups, I dreamt you. You were everything I've always dreamt of since I was a little boy. No hair on my balls, nothing. And he had those little posters up in his bedroom manifesting you. And you walked in out of the clouds. God sent you. And he knows this. Past life, we in round two, definitely. So your person's woke enough to know that this connection is, there's more to life than this. This connection is such a high frequency and high vibrancy. Your person knows that there's something more going on here. This kind of connection, he knows, is such a powerful connection. It's such a very, very powerful connection where he wanted to marry someone off the hop that he doesn't even know, like, why. But he does know why. He knows because you guys have had relationships in the past. You guys are soulmates. High, high, high soulmates. And you guys belong together, Mariah Carey. Oh, baby, baby, we belong together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. man i can't sing all right so i can't sing right now all right because i'm saying too much this morning professional shower singer here all right so let's see what creator and your ancestors have to see say cosign about this relationship because this guy is crazy over you make sure you're on birth control Make sure you're on birth control because this guy is crazy over you. Let's see what the ancestors and God have to say about this relationship. Thank you, creator and ancestors. Thank you, creator, for the miracles, the miracles. Yeah, so make sure when he does come towards you because he's in this planning, the waiting game, you know what I mean? Like he only sees his life with you. Make sure when he comes back, because he is going to come back, make sure when he comes back that you keep, you try to keep an open mind and you just be open to his ideas and what he is expressing. Just try to be compassionate and have a lot of patience and compassion when it comes to hearing him out, okay? 
try to meet in person because physical energy you guys auric energy gives you more of a um more more of an ability to really read into the person so try meet in person but if you can't then just try your hardest to facetime and keep an open mind and really be patient and calm when it comes to answering what he has to say like you don't always have to have a smart ass opinion every time he says something like kind of just give yourself five seconds before you answer to really be compassionate and patient because a lot of you broads who watch my channel you guys are firecrackers you guys are the go-getters you guys are alpha females and you're very powerhouses you are so try throw this guy a bone and really hear him out what he has to say okay these heart-to-heart -heart conversations are going to be worth it they are going to be worth it i just need to keep telling you that because i keep hearing patience and compassion patience on compassion because you like i said my watcher you're a firecracker you're a boss ass b you have this queen empress energy you're gorgeous and you're strong so you need to kind of put the reins on that sometimes and this is the situation where you have to kind of hear him out first okay don't try talk or overpower him give him the give him the floor more so when he comes back and it is going to lead to a reconciliation. It is going to lead to a lot of hot and heavy. Uh -huh, uh -huh, breaking of the beds, breaking of the holes in the wall. You know what I mean? It's going to lead to this gorgeous, beautiful reconciliation. But the most important thing that keeps popping out to me is you, baby. You have to kind of hold back your strength and listen to him. You have to listen to him. You really have to listen to him and learn to shut your mouth just to let him talk because you are a powerhouse you are an alpha female and you just have to hear him out a little bit okay and then eventually once you hear him out and stuff express everything you feel but like i said maybe do the five second rule maybe take an evening to think about it you know what i mean don't respond right away because you are a firecracker you are a powerhouse and you're used to being super expressive but this is not the time to be hella hella expressive you got to kind of put a rain of passion and patience on your strength and what you want to say and you got to take a step back and you got to give him the floor okay and then eventually take a day and then express exactly how you feel and reach that compatibility the mutual agreements because like i said before every successful relationship you guys has to do with that mutual coming together and the mutual agreements that is how every successful relationship is built you guys is um, mutual compatibility and reaching a consensus okay that is how every sex successful relationship is made and eventually once you think about it just express your love a hundred percent but like i keep hearing the words patience and compassion need to happen when he does come back to you and just hear him out because it will lead to success and it will lead to this beautiful reconciliation and this beautiful love making and this mad dicking down okay breaking walls and breaking the bed frames kind of love and he does see you as his baby mama, his wife, and the one that he can spend the rest of his life with. Nobody else, only you. He sees you as being the one. Like, come on, you guys, we opened up with the sun card. The, this is the most powerful card in the whole entire world. No other card is like this card to me. This is like the love, the lifelong love. He sees you as being his wife to the day the good Lord takes you guys home, okay? So I love you so much, my beautiful baby. I love you so much. This is a very beautiful, blessed love. Make sure you have a lot of patience and compassion when he comes back and don't bite his head off and just take the time to reach that mutual consensus when it comes to agreeing on the terms of your guys' union moving forward, okay? So I love you so, so, so much. Compromise 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 with him okay i love you so much my beautiful baby this is a beautiful beautiful love and it's being blessed to you i love you so much and i'll see you next time on beautiful love tarot love it, baby, love it, baby.